Welcome back, Tigers. In this video, we're going to review how to create year-over-year -year and year-to-date reports in Salesforce. Lots of us struggle with reporting in Salesforce, especially when sales leaders ask us for reports that require complex formulas. Reporting in Salesforce is very challenging to master and requires lots of practice. Let's go check out how to create summary formulas in our reports. All right, here we are in Salesforce and we're gonna go to the reports tab and we're going to create an opportunity report from scratch. Just gonna use this standard opportunity report. I'm gonna make sure my update preview automatically is set to false so that I can go ahead and remove some of these fields that I don't need to make it easier to work with my report. I'm gonna group by account name and then I'm going to group by close date up here. And then I'm going to turn my preview on. And then I'm going to group my close date by a year. I'm going to use calendar year. If you go by fiscal years, you'll want to use your fiscal year. And this is going to be only the opportunities that are one. And then I want this to show for all the opportunities that have a close date of greater than January 1st, 2023, so that we can compare the last three years worth of data. I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna make my amount field sum. I'm gonna save and run this. I'm gonna call this closed one year over year percentage. Now you can see that this has given me a comparison by year by customer. So what I want to add in here is an actual percentage that's going to show me if the customer is up or down year over year. We're going to add a summary formula. This is going to be called year over year percent. The description is the percent increase or decrease over last year by customer. I'm going to leave the formula output type as a number for now to show you how the previous group valve function works. We're going to update the selected groups to be grouped by account name and close date because this is where we want the year over year percentages to show. And then we're going to choose our function. We're going to scroll down to previous group valve and then we're going to select close date for our grouping and we will insert that and we're gonna highlight the summary field and we want to sum the amount. So we'll highlight the amount, scroll down, click insert, and that'll replace the summary field. So we'll go ahead and apply this and we're gonna run this report to see how this is working. Now you can see here for Acme, the year over year percent, which is our previous group file function, is $125,000. That is showing the value from 2024. So you can see all of these values are showing the previous value from 2024 for the sum of the amount field. So this is going to be the last year number in our formula. We'll go back and we'll edit this. We'll double click on our formula field. All right, so our formula is this year minus last year over last year. So we're going to put a sum of the amount field in here. We'll subtract the previous group valve function, which is last year. We'll put parentheses around that, and then we'll divide all of this by last year. We'll change this to a percentage. We'll click apply, and then we'll save and run. Now we'll come down to an example that has percentage calculations here and we don't see any errors. I'll show you how to account for that here in a second. But here is an example where we have numbers in all three years and we can actually check the formula and see if it's correct. I like to do this in Excel to make sure that I'm not messing up anything. And so we'll pull Excel over here. We'll say this is my current year, this is my previous year, and this is my formula. So if we're comparing 2025 to 2024, my number is going to be 1200 in here. This is going to be 73,350. And then my formula is my current year minus my previous year divided by my previous year with parentheses around my numerator here. And then we want that to be a percentage. And so we can see here that that number is correct. And then if we check these two, 
we can just drag this formula down. And then, so our current year, if we say that is 2024, so that would be 7350 and then 283.3. We'll make this a number. There we go. So we can see that our, those two formulas are perfectly correct. Now let's figure out how we can get rid of these errors. That is happening because you are dividing by zero. So we'll come in here and we will add in an if then statement. So if the denominator here is equal to zero, return zero, if not do our formula. That's all you need to add in here is this first part. Just looking for whatever's in that denominator. If it's zero, just return zero. Don't give me that ugly error. Oh, I forgot to put the parentheses at the end here. We'll apply that. We'll save and run it. And now you can see that we can no longer see our errors. Now, another thing that you can do is you can add conditional formatting to these percentages as well. So I'll go in here and I'll click edit. I'll come down to my conditional formatting, which is right down here. I'll add a conditional formatting rule. I will choose my year over year percent. If they're below zero, I want it to show in red. If they're at 5% yellow and then above 5%, I want it to show green. You can make this be whatever you want. I'll click done there. I'll save and run this. And then you'll be able to easily see which customers are in the green and which ones are in the red, which is a really nice feature to have. It makes it a lot easier to use. Now, the next thing we can do is add an overall percentage for all of our customers. You will have to create a different summary field for that. So we will come here and we'll click add summary formula. We will call this overall year over year percentage. Then we're going to choose our selected groups as our grand total only and our close date. Then we're going to use the same exact formula that we used for our year over year percentage. You don't have to change anything. We'll make it a percent. We'll click apply. We'll save and run. Now we have an overall year over year percentage. We're not doing too hot, are we? Down 72%. Should have made those numbers better. All right, let's make sure our calculations are working perfectly. So our current year, we're gonna do 43, to 200 and then our previous year is 1,579,650. So that says that we're down 72% as well. The numbers work perfectly. So that formula is working as well. So that's how you add those two formulas to this report. Now let's say that your sales leader looks at this and they're like, okay, that's great. We can see the customers that are up over last year, but it's May. Like, we're not comparing apples to apples. We wanna look at May 2025 versus May 2024, the entire year. So this is where you need to look at a year to date report. And so you can take this exact report and you can just add some filters to it. We're gonna come over here and we're going to add four date filters here. We're gonna do close date equals this year. We'll add close date is less than or equal to today. We'll do close date equals last year. And we'll do close date is less than or equal to 365 days ago. Okay, now we're gonna add filter logic and we want one and two or three and four. So we want the close date to be this year through today or last year through today, last year, because it's close date minus 365 days ago, which should be today's date last year. Let's do a save as because this is now our year over year percentage, but it's showing year to date. So that's an important distinction. 
So now we can see our customers' numbers look a little better and we're only seeing 24 and 25 because we're comparing only two years. So now this is a better comparison of where our customers are at. All right, now let's say your sales leaders are like, okay, we can see where we're at year to date, but I wanna be able to see which months were good. Was February better than March? Was May better than January? So we're gonna take this report and we're going to add the second close date grouping here. I'm going to make my account name a detail column. I'm going to group this by calendar month in year. And then we're going to add a summary formula. And it's the same summary formula that we used in the previous example. And then our selected groups are going to be our close date two and our close date. And then our column name is going to be year over year percentage by month. This is going to be a percent. And then let's save and run this. And then let's check out our percentages. So we've got 100,000 and 41,700. So that's 139, perfect. So that formula is correct. So let's do a save as here and let's call this closed one ops year over year, year to date by month. And then we can also add in conditional formatting so that you can show these in red or green to show which months were good or bad. That's it, that's a wrap. Be sure to subscribe to Blue Tiger Academy so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials. Check out our video on how to add opportunity reports to your account pages. The link should be showing on the screen right now. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a video on a different Salesforce topic. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.